Good morning, good morning. So I wanted to do a, um, a follow-up video to the one that I did uh, yesterday evening concerning um, R. Kelly cannot afford a conviction. Um, I had made a comment on a Malicious Conspiracy channel and um, nothing nice responded back to me and asked a question concerning was I aware that the uh, alphabet people put in a motion with the judge concerning having overcharged R. Kelly. Now, I, I don't know anything about that, you know, but I consider that Paul for the course. I wouldn't be surprised if they did because they knew from the start what they was doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not no no thing where you can kind of claim ignorance as the government of the United States of America. You knew exactly what you were doing when it came to what you charged R. Kelly with. I think this is just a way for them to um, save face and potentially avoid a huge embarrassing L on their record. That's what I think. I believe just like with, you know, the, the accusers and some of the witnesses, I believe that even the, the federal government did not believe that R. Kelly was just going to sit behind bars for over two years and take this all the way to trial. I don't believe nobody expected him to do that while, you know, maintaining his innocence uh, throughout. So now you done from the very get go, you done overcharged this man with Rico. And then while he was behind bars, you kept uh, amending the superseding indictment and adding on more stuff on top of that. And then the judge kept denying him. Uh, release on bond. So it was bogus from the start. But you 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 roll with it anyway. So now you get to the point to where it's overkill with the amount of accusers and witnesses you allow to to get in court, and to be quite honest most of them have torpedoed the prosecution's case. So it wouldn't surprise me that, you know, if they, if they put in a motion like that and the judge ended up granting it, but either, either way that you, you look at it, it still boils down to, um, R Kelly, he can't afford to be convicted. You guys have to look at the fact that, Imagine how long it's going to take in order for him, him to get out from under this if he is convicted in New York. Because like I said in my other video, that's going to give strength to the Illinois Fed case, the Illinois State case, and the Minnesota State case. So imagine he gets convicted in those other three as well. So even if he has mountains of appealable issues... Think about how long it's going to take for him to get from under that. He's already been locked up over two years. So if he's convicted in New York and then the other three, he's he's he not getting let out of jail. So he's going to be spending all that time behind bars. Who, who knows how many years he's going to end up getting. And then he's going to have to fight that appeal process while lock, locked up. The man, 54 years old, so, you know, he, he could spend the next, you know, two, three, four, five, six years, you know, just fighting for appeal. So this man could be 60 years old by the time he succeeds and then, uh, gets out of prison.
Because if he appeals successfully the New York conviction, then he's going to have to go through. Who knows what he's going to have to go with the other three. They may get thrown out based on the fact that he won appeal with New York, but that's not a guarantee because they're, they're different cases. So y'all don't want R. Kelly to be in a situation where he's having to, to, uh, to fight, to fight that under the circumstances. You don't want that to happen. The, uh, the best case scenario for him again is full acquittal because the likelihood of those other cases imploding after the fact is very high. That's what you want. Cause he does not have the he does not have the monetary resources or the time to be dealing with the aftermath of what's gonna come if he gets convicted in New York. You 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 guys don't don't want that. Because if you focusing on appeal you know, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but you're probably not, you know, thoroughly using your critical thinking skills in the right way to 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 realize what he's going to have to deal with after the fact. So. Just want to go ahead and do a real quick video, you know, um, it's uh, overcast where I'm at, so shortly going to be. Uh, logging on to work because I work from home. So prayers up to R. Kelly and his legal team today. You know, free R. Kelly and y'all have a good one. All right.